Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Manish and today we're going to talk about the different types of e-cigarettes on the market. The first one we're going to look at is cigarettes. Let's take a closer look. Although the term e-cigarettes is used interchangeably with vapes, they more often refer to the original electronic cigarettes also known as cigarettes. These devices are very similar to a traditional cigarette in size and appearance and you've probably seen them in your local convenience store or petrol station. Cigar likes are very simple devices characterized by their features. They are battery powered, they feature a cartomizer which combines the atomizer and flavor cartridge into one piece. They are draw activated. They feature a LED light showing operation or mimicking the ash-like appearance of a dragging cigarette. Cigar likes usually come in two different kinds. Disposable, where the device is pre-filled with the e-liquid and refillable, where you have to manually fill a cartomizer with e-liquid. Cigalikes work by mouth-to-lung hit which is designed to mimic the experience of smoking a cigarette. This means that you first hold the vapour in your mouth before fully inhaling it into your lungs similarly to what smoking a cigarette would be like. Cigalikes are characterised by low wattage and low vapour production. They have a tighter draw and are generally classified as entry-level devices targeted at smokers. Cigalikes have many nicotine level options and are either disposable or rechargeable. Are cigar lights right for you? The advantages of cigar lights is that they are more user friendly, they use less juice and are very portable. However, the drawbacks are short battery life, low juice capacity, low vapor production and tight air. Cigar lights are great for their simplicity and can be a great entry level device for smokers. However, because of the technological advancements, we do not recommend cigar lights as your first vaping devices. With many more devices in a similar price level which provide much more value and create a better vaping experience. Pods. This is a relatively new device which has become quite popular with the emergence of brands such as Juul. A pod usually consists of two parts, one being the battery and the other being a replaceable or refillable pod. The pod is often referred to as a cartridge which works in a similar way to a cartomizer. Pods are usually seen as an improved version of a cigar like. There are two types of pod vapes. Closed pod systems. These are disposable devices with pods that are pre-filled with e-liquid. Once depleted, they can be replaced. And open pod systems. These are filled manually by the user. Similar to cigar likes, they are often draw activated and feature no buttons, making them very easy to use. Pod vapes are characterized by low wattage. They use nicotine salt e-liquid, which we won't go into in this video. The main benefit of using nicotine salt e-liquids is that they provide higher levels of nicotine compared to traditional e-liquids. Are pods right for me? The main benefit of using pod vapes is their high nicotine strength due to the use of nicotine salts, making them ideal for smokers. They are very discreet, portable and user friendly. However, they have a very short battery life and less cloud production. Vape pens. Vape pens are larger and perform much better than cigar likes and pods. Although the size varies depending on the model, most are usually compact and easy to carry. They usually comprise of two parts, the battery and the atomizer. Sometimes vape pens feature all-in-one design, but it's more common for the tank and battery to be detachable. Most vape pens come with internal batteries that can be charged via a USB cable. Vape pens are characterized by the following features. They include a fire button, a microchip or circuit board, a tank, a coil, a battery indicator, some devices feature airflow control, and a USB port for charging the device. The atomizer consists of several parts, a drip tip or mouthpiece, a tank, usually clear to showcase the level of liquid inside, a chimney, a coil, either sub-ohm or coil with higher resistance. We will go through the differences later in the video. Are vape pens right for me? The key advantages of vape pens is that they are user friendly, they are portable, they have good cloud production and many have the option to control the airflow to either set the device for mouth to lung or direct to lung operation. However, they have lower battery life compared to other devices but still much longer compared to cigar lights and pods. Vape pens are perfect for beginners. 
They make an ideal starter kit because they perform better than your traditional e-cigarettes and pods while still keeping in the same price range. Mods. Mods are larger and more powerful compared to vape pens. The size is a result of improved performance and longer battery life. Mods often have removable batteries which are charged externally. Most box mods have adjustable settings such as wattage or temperature control. Many mods come as part of a kit where the mod is equipped with a tank. However, there are also many devices which are sold without a tank attached, allowing users to select their own choice that best suits their needs. The term mod originates from a time when vapors modified flashlights into vaping devices. They did so to achieve performance levels unattainable by options available on the market at the time. Mods are characterized by the following features. sub ohm tanks, external batteries, temperature control, LED screen to display vital information, and airflow control. Another major innovation in the vaping world was the adoption of sub ohm coil. Instead of increasing the size and power of your battery to generate more power, using a less resistant coil in your atomizer allows for more energy to flow through the coil without having to increase the battery. A sub ohm coil has a resistance of less than one ohm. Vape mods can be separated into two categories, regulated and unregulated. These terms does not relate to legislation, but to presence of circuit boards within the device. Regulated mods are mods with a circuit board inside. The board allows for safety features to be incorporated in the device as well as many customization options. The safety features can include a short circuit protection, overcharge or discharge protection, thermal protection and resistance protection. All of these features can prevent your device to be damaged or hurting. Unregulated mods do not have any of the features, meaning that there are no circuit boards inside the device. Unregulated mods include a battery, atomizer and a case to house the parts. These devices are often referred to as mechanical mods or simply mech mods. It is important to note that unregulated mech mods are not for beginners and only vapors with advanced knowledge of Ohm's law and electrical systems should handle these devices. Mechanical mods are often used by vape enthusiasts who prefer to create their own atomizer to create their preferred vaping experience. Custom build coils allow enthusiast vapors to tailor the vaping experience to their liking. These self-created atomizers are referred to as rebuildable drip atomizers or RDA for short. RDAs work by e-liquid being dropped on top of the custom build coils. If you enjoy tinkering and customizing your experience, box mods are the perfect choice for you. However, box mods are not recommended for smokers due to their steep learning curve. But if you feel like box mods is the right fit for you, you can still successfully use them to quit smoking, as many people have in the past. The key benefits of mods are the following. High performance, high flavor intensity and cloud production. Customizable experience with settings longer battery life, more coil and tank options, choice between mouth to lung, MTL or direct to lung, DTL. However, the drawbacks are the following. They require external separate batteries, it takes longer to charge the batteries, and they are not ideal for beginners due to a steep learning curve. And they're also much more expensive. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And also check us out on Facebook and Instagram.